Her sentence, the man convicted of killing an 18-year-old woman back in 2009 will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Back in March, Eyewitness News told you when Victor Arcilieris was found guilty of shooting and killing his girlfriend and the mother of his child. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is at Providence Superior Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Calling the killing no accident, a judge late this afternoon gave a Providence man convicted of murder no leniency. Security was heavy for the sentencing of 23-year-old Victor Orsoleras of Providence. In March, a jury convicted him of the second-degree murder in October of 2009 of his girlfriend and the mother of his daughter, Davalese Coto. Today, he apologized to her family, but he continued to claim the killing was an accident. I would like to say that I would do anything to try to prove to this family, to Maria's family, that it was an accident. I would do anything, anything she wants. I would take a lie detector. But a prosecutor said there was nothing accidental about Victor Arcelaris pointing the gun at his girlfriend and pulling the trigger. It is harsh and it should be harsh because his conduct and no one else's cost that young woman her life. Superior Court Judge Robert Krause seemed not the least bit confused about the conflicting claims. This was no accident. Mr. Arsenal was, was killing which resulted from jealousy and anger. With that, Judge Krause sentenced Victor Arcelaris to serve 45 years for the murder, and then after that to serve a mandatory life sentence for firing a gun while committing a crime of violence. Incredibly, Victor Arcelaris is in even deeper trouble than that. Almost exactly a year to the day after he killed his girlfriend, prosecutors say he killed again while he was out on bail. They say he and another man shot and killed Alfredo Barros while Barros sat in a vehicle stopped at a red light in Pawtucket. If convicted of the second murder, Victor Arcelaris would again face a mandatory sentence of life in prison for using a firearm while committing a crime of violence. That would be in addition to whatever time he would get for the murder itself. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.